you need to add bay. Yes. Walk me through that and like somebody off the street going, wait, you can add bone to my jaw. Uh, walk us through what that looks like and and why we need to add bone there, how you do it, and and uh, if you how you source that material. Is this real bone? Is this fake bone? Like what, what's going on there? So bone grafting has been in, in medicine and surgery for a long time. It's been used in orthopedic surgeries where there's distance in between the bones. It's been used in neurosurgery. And in our field of oral maxillofacial surgery and dentistry, we mix in a lot of times cadaveric bone that's properly processed. It's not carrying any disease. It doesn't have the, ce uh, the, the cells anymore. And it basically holds a, it's a placeholder and a matrix so the young bone can grow through. So in our, in our practice now, we use um, PRF or platelet-rich fibrin, the stem cells that we were talking about, about earlier, with okay. the bone grafting to, pro uh, to promote the healing and make sure that we gain the bone faster. The way that we do it is, again, inside the mouth, a couple of incisions to lift off the, uh, the gum tissue off the bone. We add the, the new bone, being cadaveric bone, mixed with your own stem cells, and sometimes, um, sometimes your own bone as well that we shave from a different area or we take from a different area. And we fixate that into position, sometimes with a couple of uh, screws or a membrane that basically sausage, it creates a sausage and keeps the, the bone in that area. And then we put the tissue back where it belongs. We allow about three months for that bone to heal. And then later when we go back, we have more height and more width of the bone. So that way the implant will have the best foundation for long-term success. Gotcha.